These portraits are the faces of almost 200 local school children. I don't know if mine turned out to look quite like me. Plastering the walls in the restart mall. Dozens of students are spending the next two days stenciling their portraits on city walls. Pretty gonna, awesome. Yeah, because <laughs> it'll be there for like ever or until like, you know. So it's pretty cool going to be have it uh, our faces in the future of Christchurch. A chance for local youth to be included in the street art that's taking over Christchurch. So especially now, um, with everything that's happening in the city, I think young people need to be part of what's going on in town and have creative opportunities in the city. I think this is one of the first and truly uh, collaborative projects by youth in the city since the earthquake. So you have hundreds of kids' faces making up this stencil art project as a self-portrait, as a giant collaborative self-portrait. Paralympian Sophie Pascoe joined in to lend a hand in the project organised by Scape Public Art helping the students unveil their final masterpieces. They all look pretty good. It actually looks like me, surprisingly. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that I was going to be let down, but... Like it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's really good. cool. The black and white stencils are based on overseas artists like Banksy, and now the faces of local school children are bringing those designs to the streets of Christchurch. Emma Cropper, CTV News.